Cherish Grice. Uh, Cherish is on the line. Good evening. Hello there. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for me. You're, you are welcome. Uh, so a an animal alphabet book. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> animal alphabet, it is called, written and illustrated by Cherish Grice. Uh, you've got a website, drawingstocherish.co.uk, where you can uh, order it and have a look. Yeah. Uh, tell us a bit about how, so uh, lots of people have ideas to do books, but you yeah. put your furlough to good use. I did, yes. I I got to a point during furlough where I, I felt like I was getting quite ill, um, but the doctor assured me it was stress. So I thought, do you know what? I need to do something with this. I need to do something with my time. And I thought the best way to use my time would be to create something which I've always wanted to do, which was an a illustrated book. So that's what I did. And uh, doing a book which is uh, uh, going through an alphabet, so yes. obviously some letters are easy. I notice on the website you've got uh, an elephant, uh, very yeah. charming for E, which we I probably do. could have hazarded a guess at. Have Have you got some curveballs in there for some of the more tricky letters? Um, yes, I have. There's a few in there that you probably wouldn't expect. Um, as I was going through the process of the alphabet, um, I had influence from other teachers and they assured me that I needed to put in um, phonetical uh, sounding animals. Yes. So I needed to put, for, for an A, I would put an alligator because it makes the A ah sound. Um, obviously, for some trickier ones, like the X-ray. Yeah, what did you have for X? We don't have well, that many. Meant... An X-ray fish, yes. Okay. Which yeah. is a little bit tricky because it doesn't quite go with the X sound but it's the closest I could get um the original one I had was a xanthus hummingbird and although it was very <laughs> very beautiful um it didn't really quite go <laughs> in the book <laughs> so. and, and there's not too many in Suffolk for people's uh, uh point mm. of reference I mean this no. this is this is aimed at uh kind of young young children um but it, young children don't read it it's the adults who read it so it's got to be kind of nice uh, and a kind of nice thing for them to do as well Yes, exactly. So I've aimed it at two to five-year-olds. Um, there are rhymes on each of the pages as well. So I would expect, uh, you know, a parent or a carer or maybe an older sibling to read it to the child. Um, I found that really young children just love looking at the pictures and then the older children quite like hearing uh, some of the, the facts to go with each one. Yeah, and it, it you know, I, mean, I have a, a three-year-old uh, and then several older than that, and, and the idea of getting books and sitting and reading them starts as soon as they can, um, you know, get to the shelf and, and pull a book off, and, and yeah. it's that process, isn't it, that you Absolutely, that you embed yeah. within and, and make it part of your, your routine. The other key thing about um, children's books is they need to be long enough to be interesting, but not so long that um, if you're in a hurry to do bedtime, uh, yeah. it doesn't take you <laughs> another half <laughs> yeah. hour. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So hopefully this is one of those books. And I mean, you can put it down, of course, whenever you need and come back to it. Um, I have a niece and, and she was so intrigued by each page that her her mum had to put it down because otherwise the bedtime would be much more longer than what <laughs> much, she wanted it to later. be. So. Uh, <laughs> it says on your, on your bio on the website that um, uh, so you did a, a graphic design degree and then went and lived in Sweden for several years. What What did that experience give you? Um, I think it gave me confidence and independence. Um, while I was there, it was a little bit of a challenge to get work. Um, so in the spare time that I had, I was doing illustrations for people all over the world that wanted caricatures of themselves um, or just illustrations for their own books that they were doing. So that enabled me to really sort of hone down on my skills and, uh, yeah, just just being more confident with what I could do with my, my abilities. So, yeah. yeah. You talk about caricatures there on your, your website and on your, your Instagram drawings to cherish. Yeah. Uh, you've got your little um, icon of uh, you, I, I presume dancing in the leaves. <laughs> yeah, it is me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you got into trouble for doing caricatures of people in your, your family or your friends? Oh no, usually it goes down pretty well. <laughs> um, a few years ago, I, I was going around every one of my family members just asking if I could um, use them so I could draw them. And 
they usually were very, very pleased that I did it and would use them and on their own like profile photos. So, yeah, I've not got into trouble, not yet anyway. <laughs> I see. Well, see, does anyone um, feature in, in the book or any of your animals' um, references to, to, to people you know? Um, no. <laughs> I could get into trouble if you, I said that you, they were. <laughs> you could indeed, uh, and we wouldn't want that. Uh, no. So uh, you you put all your love and your heart into a bu- doing a book like this. Um, yeah. What's the the response been from those who've who've, who've had a copy? Really good, actually. Um, I've taken it to the school that I work at, and it was really well received. Um, teachers, especially that had younger children themselves, um, said that their their children really enjoyed it. Um, particularly the the younger range, um, yeah, it's it's been really well received, and even the teachers that don't have children have said that they've really enjoyed, you know, the way the illustrations look and how friendly it is, and you know, colourful. So yeah, it's been good. Superb drawings to cherish dot co dot uk is the website. Uh, some lovely pictures on there, and we can see your work on your mm-hmm. Instagram as well. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Cherish. All the best with it. Thank you. Uh, that's uh, Cherish Grice, uh, drawings to cherish.co.uk, if you want to have a look at the animal alphabets. <laughs>